Okay, guys, um, I'm back again. Uh, we're going to put on the uh, final and last coat. Um, I did go a little differently than what I had planned on doing. Uh, just wanted to show you that I did finish, uh, did finish the side. Uh, got that side done. I did go with the uh, little eyeballs up here. Um, the main guy put him up on top, uh, Slayer Pro. Uh, that's what I decided to add there, and uh, I did finish the other side. This side came out just a little darker on the sword than the other side. Um, I just put a too much of a tint on that side. But uh, so now we're going to start uh, marbling the paint. Um, to marble the paint, I'm going to move the camera. Um, Get it a little closer. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I've got a plastic bag. What I did is I just kind of meshed it a little bit and then put a piece of tape so it would stay in that shape. Now, I don't know, make sure you'll be able to see that. Uh, just so it'll stay in that, that shape, that form. Um, get some little wrinkles in it and it'll keep it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little paint on this and I'm just going to dab it in different locations uh, along the body. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the secondary color of the marbling effect. Uh, I don't want to go too big. Uh, some people will spray a light coat and then they'll lay down the, the plastic on it and then peel it off. Uh, I like to use this method. It seems to work better for me. Um, just because it, it seems to work better for me. I don't know why, but anyway, so let's get started. So what I've done here is I've just um, splotched it all out, uh, put on a bunch of little splotches all over the place, uh, 
once I see that I've got it good coverage and it looks pretty good it's a few spots right in here I'm gonna have to get real quick uh, just to make sure that it's got the marble effect marble effect pretty fluid throughout the the entire car like there's not even a little bit right there so we'll get that real quick I guess I'm about finished there and uh, I'll just make sure I got everything good let it dry just a little bit Give everybody a good view of that and uh, that's how I do my marbling effect uh, just kind of splotched is really what it is um, I kind of like the look myself uh, we'll see what happens when I get through painting the other uh, the other color over it all right we'll be back in just a minute okay so now what I'm gonna do is um, got weedy in over here I'm gonna put this color here uh, it's called lime ice Where is it at? there it is kind of dark out here uh, it's a little evening time uh, not very much sunlight real cloudy but um, that's the color I'm going to put on it, lime ice, that's going to be my overspray, so I'm going to put in uh, just a real light coat, just to coat it, give it a little drying time not too much just enough to let it dry a little bit I'm gonna put a silver backing on the back of this just to make that color pop a little bit Well, now that I'm seeing this, I'm going to have myself a little food bar right here. I got a little overspray um, right here. You guys probably see that, but that's going to be a little food bar. I guess I'm not going to have a perfect paint job, but you know, que sera, sera. Uh, things happen. <laughs> Alright, 
starting to look a little better. This color will be a little brighter here in a minute when uh, when I get that silver backing on there, it'll it'll pop a little bit more. But uh, so far so good. I'm I'm satisfied with it. I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes before I put the silver on it, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. All right, let's throw some silver on this and see what it comes out looking like. that one coat on there let it dry a little bit uh, really can't see it too well because it's just not bright enough out here but it's starting to look a little shinier a little brighter it's making that uh, lime lime ice pop a little bit more let that dry a little bit and then we'll see what happens all right that can's about empty Start on a new one. Okay, I guess that's uh that's gonna about do it. Um I'm going to peel this off here in a little bit. Uh, I may not shoot it on camera just because it's kind of redundant. But if, uh, if you can see that, you can see the little star shape in that eye. I've got it taped off. Now I'm going to go over that with uh, probably a red. So he'll have a little red kind of spiral iris or star little iris on the uh, dragon head. Um, hopefully it'll come out pretty good hopefully uh, other than that I'm done with the paint um, like I said I'm gonna peel this back and I'm gonna paint it all this this other green uh, with a silver backing once that dries and uh, I may not shoot that either uh, just for the simple fact that you've seen me mask off stuff and paint stuff so that's pretty much the finished product or what it's going to look like. I'm going to tint the windows. Uh, I'll shoot another video and then uh, just do a little montage of uh, the three cars that I have painted. Um, I guess you can see the marbling effect pretty good. I'll... Pretty good. We'll see what this looks like out in the sun. Uh, so I'll pick a sunny day to... Uh, show all the cars I'm gonna add some stickers to this one also so once I get through with the final product I'll show you all, all the final product um, okay guys uh, I'm done done painting it uh, came out pretty well uh, I'm gonna give you some close-ups um, here in just a second uh, talk a little bit more about uh, the job that I did um, after that, uh, get some stickers on it, and uh, we will be back after I'm completely done. Uh, show you some close-ups of it, talk a little bit more about it, and uh, then I'll place my stickers all on, and uh, I'll show you the final and end product, and uh, we'll talk about what I'm going to do in my next video. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, uh, let's go to some close-ups here. Okay, so let's see how close we can get. Get little close-ups here. <laughs> Didn't come out too bad. Uh, there are a couple of spots where my paint did run, and if you notice, I did do the uh, the window tint off of camera uh, basically because I mean you spray it on just like you would anything else you start with a light coat so we can change the tint of that dragon there 
see if we can get it to go green or something. It does change colors a little bit. You can't really tell too much on camera. Uh, I did have some few spots. Uh, I'm guessing I didn't uh, clean it real well. So I had a couple of little spots here where my paint started to come away. Uh, it's really not all that noticeable. Uh, it's going to be a basher anyway. I'm I'm a basher. I, I like a good paint job though, but I'm a basher. Uh, finished the roll bar in the back. Uh, like I said, I went with the uh, the green that's here is what's going to be right here. All right, Got a little eyeball action there. That's the eyes off of this guy here. Uh, I guess that's about it. I'm going to throw some stickers on it. Uh, I'll shoot it again once I'm. Um, Got all my stickers on. I'll see what I'm going to put on it. Um, my stickers are right over there. So um, I'll show you all that when I'm finally done with it. Uh, like I said, the um, the side logo on this side, if you can see it, it's nice and silver. Um, right in here. It's two-toned silver on the other side. Uh, it came out a little darker. I put a little extra tint, I guess. I layered too much of tint on that one side. But uh, I'm satisfied with it. It came out pretty good. Um, we'll see what happens once I'm completely done with it. I'm going to beef it up. Uh, that's going to be part of my next video, and I'll talk about that here in just a minute. Uh, I did do the uh, little eye on the dragon. Hopefully you'll be able to see that pretty good. It's got that little red starburst in it. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to cut out some, uh, some stickers and apply some stickers. Um, I haven't quite gotten up the courage enough to uh, attempt to paint my own headlights or anything um, but uh, whenever you're cutting out your whenever you're cutting out your stickers uh, don't go by the, uh, the little lip that it has on here cut as close to the edges as, as possible um, that way you don't get that little clear coating around the sticker itself as it's placed on the car which uh, after a while it tends to yellow just from being out in the sun and it starts to look bad but if you if you trim them really really close uh, to the actual sticker itself you'll get a lot better look uh, on your car I'm gonna combine some of these stickers uh, mainly because this one didn't come with uh, tail lights and um, this Silverado body that I got uh, did come with tail lights and uh, they seem to be about the, the right size so I'm gonna put them right in here uh, some 4x4 four four stickers that didn't come with this, surprisingly, because it's a 4x4. Four four. But um, I'm going to put some 4x4 four four stickers probably right here. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I may put some of this grill that is uh, on this uh, sticker here. I may put it in little back covers here. Uh, or maybe even a little piece right along here. It depends on how big of a piece I can get off of it. Uh, also, I've got this piece here that's uh, kind of a grill, and then I have the mesh that's on the uh, that's on the windows. You know, I don't use the sticker, the window stickers, so uh, I may use some of that mesh. It, it may be long enough to fit across there. Um, the uh, the little stickers that say uh, Traxxas, Goodrich, King of the Road, uh, stuff like that. This stuff here that goes on the side of the window sticker, I'm actually going to cut those out and place them right there by the sticker window. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the grill. I'm going to cut it out and put it up against it and see if it uh, if it looks good. Maybe I'll put it. Uh, I might put some of my RPM stickers that came with some of my RPM stuff. Uh, I may put a, a few of those maybe right in here. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put them, but uh, as far as uh, anything else, I may put a. a couple of Traxxas stickers on there just to let everybody know that it is a Traxxas um, for those people that aren't aware of what, what it is. Um, other than that, uh, I guess we'll get to cutting out stickers. And uh, once I cut them out, I'll place them all on and then uh, we'll go from there.